Hi there guys, Steve from CCL. Today I'm going to be taking a quick look at this. This is the Datlock Pro 2 by Be Quiet. If you're not familiar with Be Quiet, they're a German manufacturer. They're a big brand in Europe and they're starting to get big in the UK. And that's partly due to their attention to detail and phenomenal engineering that goes into their products, as we'd expect with any German brand. So the Datlock Pro 2 states that there is no compromise for silence and performance. Now, generally you find if you're buying a fan and it's orientated towards cooling, it's incredibly loud, or if it's orientated towards being quiet, it's not that effective at cooling. With a Darkrock Pro 2, you're not getting any compromises there. So it supports every CPU socket that you can think of for the past decade, and it uses their Silent Wings fans as well. Now, they're a full fluid bearing fan, and they are incredibly quiet. Um, so yeah, let's get it out of the box and see what it looks like. Right, okay, so before I actually open the product, I just want to give you a wonder around the packaging so we can see what's going on here. Um, as you can see, the massive picture of the product and the logo, uh, be quiet, no compromise on silence of performance. It tells us here that it fits LGA 2011. Now, there's a sticker on this, so I'm guessing originally it wasn't, but they brought out a bracket. The bracket comes with it, so they pop the sticker on there. It tells us that it's silent wings, which lets us know that it's their fluid bearing fan that they've got in there, so it's be quiet, so I'm fan. Tells us on this strip down the side that it's high end, so they have essential, uh, premium, and high end, so it lets you know that this is a top of the range product from Be Quiet. On this side, we can see the technical specification in English and German, a list of awards that it's won from technology websites that I'm, I'm not going to plug. And then on the rear, we can see the actual layout and all the different specifications of the fan in great detail. There's another plug there for the silent wings to tell you that it's nearly silent in operation. On this side again with text back in other languages. So yeah, Be Quiet put a lot of attention to detail in their packaging and it shows with their products as well. It's an attention to detail from the very start to the finish of the product. So let's open up this behemoth of a cooler and see what it looks like. Right, okay, so I've jigged the camera about a little bit so hopefully we can see the product better when I get it out of the box. So I won't keep you waiting any longer. Let's get it out. I'm going to make you wait to see the cooler though. We're going to look at the accessories first. So what we got? We have got the CPU cooler mounting brackets there, different adapters for the different CPU sockets. So I can see some little washers in there. Let's see if these are plastic or rubber. Oh, these are actually plastic, so no vibration dampening or anything in there. That shouldn't be an issue though. Which I'll be quiet, I've done the research and I'm guessing it doesn't get any quieter even with rubber ones. So we've got that there. Now we have a second mounting kit, which I'm guessing is for the addition of the 2011. Uh, looking at the front of the box, we can see that that's, and that sticker's an afterthought there for the 2011. So obviously, Socket 2011 came out. They've made it a bracket to adapt the cooler to it, and they've put that in addition. So we've got both those. We have our backing plate, which helps spread the weight. Now that's pre-insulated, so it's covered in plastic, and then we've got a foam there. So obviously you don't have to worry about shorting anything out on the back of the board. Now the reason we go for these is obviously A to help mount the cooler and B to help distribute the weight evenly on the back of the board. So obviously you fit a cooler that size, you don't need pulling on the top of your socket or anything like that. So with this on, distributes the weight evenly. It's quite a thick, well made, well made back protector there. We also have the four mounting screws. So that's to mount the cooler to the brackets and we have some thermal paste, a little tube of generic thermal paste. It's not Be Quiet branded, it's just high performance thermal paste according to the box. So we've got those and we've got the instructions. Now I've seen a PDF version of these instructions, they are quite comprehensive. So we've got all the different exploded diagrams for how you'd fit it on each CPU socket. Now as I stated this does cover a lot of different CPU sockets. So we've got the LGA 2011, we've got the 1155, 1156, 1366, 775, AMD sockets, AMD haven't really changed the way you mount their coolers for a while. So we've got AM2, AM2+, AM3, AM3+, FM1, and then this is the weird one, this one kind of takes us back in time. We've got socket 754, 939 and 940. So if you've got a really old AMD system that you want to start overclocking or cooling or anything, this, this cooler is going to fit it for you. Um, and then obviously it's a multilingual installation guide so we've got it in lots of different languages there as well. So that's it for the accessories. The suspense is killing me. Let's get the cooler out. We also have some silica gel in there in case you want a snack. I'm kidding, you can't eat that. So right, we've got the styrofoam and we've got the cooler. Um, first impressions, it's a really nice, I would say menacing, uh, dark nickel plating on these. 
So we've got the dark nickel plating, we've got the brushed aluminium top as well, so that's a nice finish, and with it being aluminium that will help dissipate heat. Uh, the tops of the heat pipes, very nicely finished there with these top caps. Sorry, because this is a review sample, it's got a few fingerprints and scratches on it and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we've got the uh, caps there now. I, with some of the other coolers, I can never help but think they look unfinished with the crimped ends and then the braze and the solder on the top. So what Be Quiet have done here is they've done this a little bit more professionally. And we've got these little metal end caps here. Now looking at the fans, if it's not obvious to tell there, we've got a 120mm fan on the front and a 135mm fan in the middle. So obviously slightly bigger as we get towards the middle. Now the best thing about these fans is you can play with the configuration a little bit if you want to. With their, their pull and lock bracket system here you could move the cooler up a little bit if you wanted to, if it was fouling on any VRMs or any memory or anything like that. You can also bring it around and put it on the back, you can take them out and turn them round. So that's a nice bit of forethought. So with the Be Quiet fans as well, they've all got this rubber ring around the actual housing of the fan. So if you're mounting it flush against the case or anything like that, it's already, it's already got its vibration damping built in. So none of those little fiddly strips like on some of the other coolers where you've got to sit it between the fan and the actual blades etc. It gets kind of fiddly. Um, just to go into more detail about how much planning Be Quiet do. Even though this is one of their standard chassis fans, I think both of these fans are available individually as well. The actual method and the, the construction for this fan has been adapted for this cooler. So it's got slightly shorter cables on it than it would if you bought a standard chassis fan and it's also got this little piggyback adapter on the back of the 120mm fan so you can plug the 135 in. Now what that allows you to do is throttle both of these fans from your CPU fan header. So if you've got a, you know an AMD board for example that supports AMD's cool and quiet then both fans can be throttled by the actual BIOS as opposed to some of the other fans of this similar design where you've got to plug one fan into the CPU header and the other into the system fan header and you can't actually control the speed of both of them at the same time etc. So quite a lot of planning gone into this. Like I say the standard chassis fans come with a much longer cable than this but you don't need a longer cable. If, if this is going to CPU you'd loop it round, tighten a knot and you'd pop that in the CPU fan header. Now, like I say, dark nickel coated. Um, there are a few blemishes on this, but I think these are all fingerprints from the other people who've reviewed it prior to myself. Yeah, they're all fingerprints. So it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice dark nickel finish there. Like I say, it's not a bright chrome style silver, a little bit in your face or obtrusive, if you will. So got that there. Now let's have a look at the base of this. Right, okay, that's an incredibly smooth base. I don't know if you can see just how shiny that is, if we can reflect that there on the camera. Um, there are some slight tooling marks on it, uh, I've got some tooling marks, but no actual blemishes or no actual imperfections to the finish. So no, it's a really nice finish on there, better than I've seen on some CPU water blocks as well to be honest. So I've got a really nice finish on the bottom of that. So all in all, I'd say if you're looking for a top quality product, you know, not just a great performer because sometimes you do sacrifice aesthetics for performance we've all done it in the past oh, i want this it's really fast oh but it looks rubbish with be quiet you don't have to make that compromise anymore you've got a fantastic looking product that performs well so that's pretty much all i can say about this cooler really um it's currently set up on our website i'll post a link to it in the doobly-doo so that's that's it yeah if you could rate comment and subscribe my name's steve thanks for watching